Hi everyone, in this demo I am going to demonstrate about data domain profiling in test data management. We are going to discuss about data domain profile, about data domain regarding sensitivity, metadata and data patterns, preferred rules and profile configuration, how to create a profile connection, enabling profile and about creating and running a data domain profile and after uh, running the profile what are all the activities that we are going to perform on the discovery results that is uh, approving and uh, assigning rules the data domain profile identifies the columns that belong to a data domain based on the data value of the column or the column name now what is data domain a data domain is an object that represents the functional meaning of a column based on the column data or the column name in this uh, demo I'm going to show you how to profile for social security number uh, this is the sample data domain that I have created for social security number and uh, the sensitivity levels can be critical, high, medium or low. This can be set based on your application, how you want the sensitivity to be defined. The next one is about data patterns and the metadata patterns. A data pattern and a metadata pattern are regular expressions that you configure to group columns into a data domain. A data expression identifies data values in a source. So over here uh, I'm going to profile the data for social security number and here I'm going to say that my column data will have three digits and a hyphen and two digits and hyphen and uh, finally four digits this is how uh, the data pattern is designed for social security number and let's get into the metadata pattern a metadata expression identifies the column names in a source so over here I have uh, given the expression as my column name will be like SSN or social or something like security or it ends with the number or so and uh, you can set preferred rules to data domain once you have uh, identified the column as a social security number you can automatically assign the preferred rule to that particular column for masking once you are done with the data domain creation, you need to assign that data domain uh, to a policy. Now, uh, to run a data domain profile, you need to first uh, create a profile connection. I will show you how to configure profile connection. You need to go to administrator and then you go to preferences there you will see the profiling configuration over here I have provided my domain the host and port and the node name uh, where the model repository service and the data integration service are running for my profiling. You can create internal and external profile connections. An external profile connection connects to a data integration service that is not in the Informatica domain. Create an uh, external profile connection if you want to run a profile against a data integration service in a domain 
other than the one you specify during installation. For enabling profile, you need to go to the general properties and there you can enable the profile. You can set it to yes to enable it. Now I am going to show you how to create profile and uh, run it. I am going to open the project airline loyalty. Go to discover and then go to profile. In the right hand side you will have the icon to create new profile. I am going to create a profile by name SSN and uh, for data domain profiling I am going to choose data domain and uh, click next and add the tables that you want to profile. I am going to go with the customer table. Click OK and then click next. Here I am going to choose the policy. Already I have created a SSN data domain and I have assigned it uh, uh, to the policy PIA. Uh, so I am going to choose the policy uh, to profile against the data. You have the option to choose the data domain as well. You can choose a specific data domain uh, that you want to use for profiling and the next option is that uh, how to run the domain discovery you can choose uh, either to run profile on just the data or the column name or you can go with uh, data and column name and next you can uh, provide the maximum number of rows to profile uh, by default it is 1000 rows you, you can uh, manipulate the number of rows. The, if you choose uh, more number of rows, the profiling job is going to run uh, for a little bit uh, more time than expected. And uh, the next one is the minimum conformance percent. So you are going to save the profile. So for running the profile, you can go to actions and then click on run profile so that it will execute the now the profile job got executed successfully let's go and have a look at the results now over here it's showing that it has identified id num column from customer table and id num column from ticket table as social security number so once you are confident that these are all social security numbers, you can go and click approve checked items so that this data domain gets approved for that particular columns. Now I am going to show you how to assign the preferred rules uh, to that column once the data domain has been identified. Go to define data masking and uh, go to the table that you want to assign the rule to. Now if you see the customer table uh, for the ID num column it has assigned the domain SSN. Now when you click on this column it's going to automatically show the preferred rule. So if you are okay to go with this rule you can go ahead and click on save so that the preferred rule gets assigned to this particular column. Say suppose you have uh, multiple uh, columns and uh, it has got uh, data domains assigned as part of profiling. You can uh, do the assignments by clicking on the uh, columns that you want to do uh, auto assign so you can click on the columns and then you can go to rule assignments here you will get the list of columns for which you want to do default assignments then uh, you can choose the columns for which you want to do 
default assignments and then you can click default assignments so that it will assign the preferred rules to the particular column. In this demo, we saw about uh, data domain profiling. What is data domain? Creating a profile connection and enabling profile. And uh, how to create and run a data domain profile. And how to do rule assignments based on profile results. Thanks for watching this video.